Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm a chiropractor. Welcome to Health and Care. You know, I had a friend and she, I hadn't seen her in quite a while. She's a patient and I, and I hadn't seen her in years. And she had been dealing with this um, issue where she had chronic illness and she couldn't eat anything. And um, I mean, she would eat an apple and she would get inflammation and bloating. And I mean, she was limited to about eight different foods and was going to functional medicine doctors and medical doctors and literally spent thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 of her own money getting all kinds of treatments that weren't even covered by her insurance, et cetera. And she um, called and I, I was home and I, she needed a home visit. And I said, just because I didn't want to go to the office, I said, come home to my house. And she comes uh, with her significant other. And, and uh, I go, how are you doing? She goes, you can't believe it. I'm eating Pop-Tarts and Mountain Mike's Pizza and Cinnabon, right? And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, I mean, she just had to be so meticulous before. And she said, I had this treatment called Cambo, this medicine, right? And uh, and so I looked it up and I'm like, this is amazing, right? This is, this is an Amazonian medicine. And I said, I want to know this guy. I want to know who you did it with. And uh, so I called him up and he came and, and administered this to a group of people at my house. And I am so thrilled to have him. He's such a genuinely wonderful man, intelligent, centered. Um, this isn't a woo-woo person. This is a person who is, knows, his, his, knows his product, so to speak, knows what he does and who he is. And just to be in his presence uh, is calming. And I just want to welcome Wolf Parananda. Hello, Wolf. Hello. Welcome. Great to Thank have you. Thank you. Such a joy. Thanks for having us. So <laughs> it's it's so good. So you you started out. You had been in in sports medicine. You were working with NFL teams, um, and in, NBA. But yeah, you got it. NBA, and and it, and really having a beautiful career, helping very high end athletes, etc. And now you are letting your hair grow, and you're working with Amazonian <laughs> forest medicines. I mean, how does a guy get there? <laughs> Great question. Great question. Uh, it's a journey, you know. Um, I was in sports medicine for 14 years and was in Arizona for eight of that years and had some incredible opportunities with some teams out there, organizations, uh, professional athletes, and um, ended up getting me recruited out to Los Angeles and to come out there and, and, and help all different demographics of people and um, ended up working for the sports medicine center in, in Beverly Hills. And I worked there for five years, and around the fifth year, I began to hear a message about you're supposed to heal from the natural remedies from the earth. Mm. And this message kept coming up and coming up and coming up, and so I put that into a box of naturopathic medicine, and uh, there's a doctor there that I talked to who was a DO and, and asked him for a, a referral to talk to somebody in natural medicine as far as how do I lily pad this, this career path and get into that, that field, and so I actually went down and met with her. And it was really interesting. Um, you just talked about some, you know, you talked about woo. -woo. I'm gonna give you some woo, woo stories real quick. We'll take um, this, uh, this gentleman comes in, has worked there for a while, and gives me his phone number. He says, "Call this woman. Um, she's gonna help you with everything that you need." And I said, "Great." And he said, "Oh, by the way, I've only worked here long enough for you to ask me for this number." And I was like, "What?" And the guy never came back to work. Mm. So that's the first like asterisk or first unique experience. Um, I made the appointment with this woman, went down there, took all my collaboration of my education to kind of talk to her about wh where I can go, what I have credits for, what I don't, um, and kind of find the lily paths of getting into that career. And so I walked into her office and I walked in, there was something spiritual on every corner of her walls. Um, it doesn't matter if it was Catholic, Christian, Native American, Buddhist, Hindu, there was something on every shelf, every wall covered in something, some, some kind of spiritual relic. And so she closed the door behind me. She goes, they told me you were coming. I said, oh. told <laughs> and she goes, they, they told me, master. they told me. <laughs> yeah. And instead of it being a two hour meeting about schooling, it turned into a three hour conversation about my life and um, what my soul is about, what it's about. It wasn't supposed to be that it was, it was more about a, an education teaching or a, a mentor program. And from then, from that moment, my life began to really shift and begin things begin to come into alignment. So I, I walked in sports medicine. 
uh, enlisted into school, um, debating studies natural method medicine. Um, in that year and a half of school, I began to work with a Buddhist monk priest for meditation, a yoga swami for the yoga lineage, um, not just yoga, but what yoga is really about. And apprenticing with two shamans working medicine of ayahuasca and different Amazonian medicines. And that was almost 10 years ago. And my life just took a really big left turn. And my name Wolf comes from my, from my background. I'm Cherokee lineage on both sides of my family. Um, so it's actually White Wolf, and I just shortened it to Wolf just because it, it's easier. And um, so for the past 10 years, I walk on this path and really begin to go down and experience these ancient traditions on this planet for thousands of years. Like what we did um, in communities and tribal setting. And, you know, there was ways of healing or things that we did to help ourselves before Western medicine came along. Mm -hmm. And Western medicine has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, facet for what it offers. And it, and, 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 and it, and it can and it accomplish so many things as well as like, like technology. But there's also something about these ancient technologies. And uh, so I just really felt called to that. It really tugged on my soul and I began to experience this stuff, not just research it, but go down the path of, of experiencing it. And uh, everything from living in a Buddhist monastery with some monks, I then moved to an ashram um, I, I lived with a native tribe for a little bit. So there's just, there's all these different traditions I got to experience. And, and, um, and then Camel came in the mix and my mom passed away. And a couple months after she passed away, I got an opportunity to work with Cambo. And two nights after I worked with Camel, my mom came to me in a dream. And she looked at me and she looked down. She looked at me and she looked down. She looked at me and she looked down. If I looked down, there's a frog at my feet. And some practitioners have a calling to that, right? I'm sure what you do, there was something that pulled on you or guidance or something that guided you into this is what I'm going to be doing, some kind of reminder or assistance. And um, so that's that. And so mm. I began to go down the Campbell path, thought it would be a great addition to what I was already doing. And it, after about six months, you really want to take the lead. Mm. And so you can go to the Amazon, you can learn from a medicine man how a tribe serves Cambo. As we know right now, all the tribes serve Cambo. Each one serves it differently. Each one serves it. Just, serves to, it just to let everybody know, because the, the people think, wait, what, what was the frog? Did the frog communicate with you? The frog is actually, we have the frog, the, the green, it's a great green tree frog, right? Up in the, in the Amazon, they take the wax off of it. And that's, that's what they call Cambo. And that's the, right. the medicine that's administered. I think it's wonderful because, you know, we think, okay, we're the most technological society in the world. We've, you know, actually we spend 20% of our GDP on healthcare, right? And, and we're spending so much on all this technology, but is it possible that there have been societies that, that had a leg up on, on certain technologies? I mean, look at the, the pyramids in Egypt. I mean, we still can't figure out how they did it, right? You know, you look at right. um, acupuncture, they used to use fish bones, uh, and, and to, 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 as needles to put them in there. I mean, there are, there are other societies and what a journey you had a study to, of, of looking at different native cultures and societies uh, on ancient practices. Some of them preserved problem. Some of them have, have gone out of use. Maybe you resurrected them. And one of these great things was this, this Cambo, this tree frog. Yeah. Yeah, and yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's a secretion that comes from the green monkey uh, green monkey tree frog. And so, first of all, for everyone listening, it's it's sustainably harvested, so the frog is not harmed. Um, the frog has really no predators. And so, the the tribes we work at the Masi tribe, and they do and they do a meeting call at, at, at dawn or at dusk, and and that calls the frog down from the tops of the trees. They're they're boreal, they're nocturnal, and they have no predators. They don't they're not afraid of anything. And so, mm. once they do the mating call, the frogs come down. The tribes usually put them on a tree branch or don't even touch them because it's so sacred to them. Carry them over to this kind of platform and they take the they take the secretion off the legs and off the back of the frog. It has two layers. They only take the first layer so they it, they can leave it to do what it needs to do. Um, we know that the frog uses this meta, the, the secretion to mate. Like they, they mate by hugging for a very long time. Hmm. And then they use the secretion to create a leaf like a slide so when the, when the when the when the eggs begin to hatch they slide off the the leaf into the river mm. and so we know that there's many other reasons why they use it you know they do use it for if they, if they eat by a snake this, they'll secrete the secretion the snake will spit them back out um just to protect, protect them but other than that there's only only threat to their habitat is the deforestation yeah and so which really beautiful about the mossy tribe we work with they've been able to buy back um, almost five hundred twelve thousand acres from the government um, with the exchange. And so the frog is very sacred to them and, and um, it's, it's, it's against the culture to harm the frog. Mm. Um, um, 
in fact they they put this white mark on the frog's wrist with the with a rope and so if they see a frog that has it it takes about three months for that that marking to go away so if they see a frog with that they won't even touch the frog so it has a time to recalibrate and re regenerate its secretion fascinating um, so so i myself couldn't operate in this it was operating in that sustainable way mm -hmm. it wasn't something that gave back to creation as creation serves us with it you know it has to be in that way of integrity authentic integrity uh, mm -hmm. with the frog mm -hmm. so you don't want to destroy nature to help nature. Right. And what's amazing is if, if, if we actually went down there to cap, we didn't do this, but if somebody did try to capture the frog and take it out of its natural environment, it won't secrete the secretion. Um, something has to be left in its environment. And that's a great lesson for humanity. If you just leave things the way they are, um, you'll get exactly what you need. Right. You will, won't you? So, yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, go on. I mean, this is, this is an incredible experience. <laughs> So yeah, so so again, the message is called Cambo, and um, as I mentioned, you can go down to Amazon. You can learn a certain tribes' way of the way they do it. Um, I took the the Western way around it, if you want to call that. Um, I'm certified through two different organizations. I'm licensed as a master practitioner with Cambo. Um, uh, I also teach people how to serve this medicine through an organization called Cambo International. Mm -hmm. And so there's some organizations that have kind of took an umbrella to teach people on the Western side to how they can serve this medicine from a safe level, safety level and how to give them a format of how to do that. And so I'm sponsored by Cameroon National Adopt to teach people how to do that as well. And as it's well, legal. Uh, it's legal in the United States. Completely legal. Yeah. Completely legal. Have, have people not, tried to make it illegal or anything? Great question. Yeah. Every government has tried to make combo illegal, uh, but they can't. It's made of 11 bioactive peptides. And peptide is that molecule between amino acid going to protein, which is what our bodies are made of. So they can't make something illegal that what we already are. Mm -hmm. And so it's really beautiful in that way. And um, I'm, I'm licensed to carry the medicine in any country in the world, um, internationally, with the, with the with the medicine. Um, it's all legal, all legit. Um, you're not, you know, for those that are new to these kind of medicines, you're not journeying. It's not a journey experience. Um, you say like ayahuasca or bufo or, um, you know, that there's a toad that you lick that has DMT. This is this is not that. This is mm -hmm. this is a, the frog. There's a, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. um, so. You so, were, yeah. were there was a white light. There was a hippie at the end of it playing a guitar. No, just kidding. No, it was it was not psychoactive at all. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, from a from a science level, um, it's made of eleven bioactive peptides, and I had the peptides listed on my website. People want to go in there, and peptides have been incredible um, for research around um, AIDS and cancer and candida and a whole list of things. And what's amazing about Cambo is these peptides are able to come into the cell. And as you know, a lot of pharmaceuticals have to have create some kind of Trojan horse to trick the cell to open up to it. Mm. And so Cambo isn't that way. It's the same molecular structures of saliva. And so your body recognizes something that's already part of the system and has an ability to come into the cell, pull all the bad bacteria, all the PTSD, all the trauma, trapped emotions, like whatever the cells are holding. It pulls it out, it puts good bacteria back into the cell, and then it reseals the cell. But it goes to your entire body in 40 minutes. So it's a rapid, rapid, rapid detox. And three peptides in early. Yeah. Radical detox in 40 minutes. Yeah. That's and where the experience. intense healing comes from. Right. Yeah. Um, and three of them are neurological. And so they're going to reset the entire, whole entire neurological set within your, within your being. So Campbell is a complete reset, biological, neurological reset to the system. Mm -hmm. Um, one, just give you one example. One peptide is delmorphin, which is the peptide of morphine, not the opiate, but the peptide. Mm -hmm. And it has the ability to reconstruct the way the pain receptors communicate. And so if you have, say, chronic knee pain, chronic back pain, a lot of times I've had people come back to do Campbell because they didn't, it was a challenging experience for them in the, in the, in the, in the ceremony. But the only reason they came back is their chronic knee pain of 20 years mm -hmm. never came back. Mm -hmm. And so it's really beautiful. And, and these peptides, it's like one, one, peptide completes its purpose, it activates the next. It's like a domino effect. And so it all happens within 40 minutes. And it's really rapid. It is a treatment based medicine. So you are going to work with it probably more than once, you know, as we did with you and, and, and your friends and, and family, we did, you know, two, two days of it. Um, so the tribes recommend this medicine three times in a moon cycle, which is a 20 day time period. Um, you don't have to do it three times, but you, you know, try to get three times as soon as you can close together, three times in a month, three times in a year, like however it aligns in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would suggest anyone to try it three times before you analyze if you want to continue with it or not. And um, so, yeah. Yeah, we did three times within a uh, within about a 24-hour period. 
it was definitely a, a hero's journey. It was definitely an experience. <laughs> um, so I think, you know, before we get into the benefit, I think, I think the, the, the journey, the experience, um, I mean, first of all, you know, Wolf has an amazing presentation. He has you set an attention and get in a mindset and uh, which is incredible. Um, and then you actually, you, you don't just administer this. The only way to, to do it is through the skin, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So we're, yeah, we're... It's not a medicine you can drink or put in your blood. It has to go through the epidermis layer of the skin. Um, has anyone tried it under the tongue or anything like that? Or uh, you, I mean, you can. It's, it's not, it's much more of a... Much more of a of a poisonous poisonous effect if, if you do it that way. Oh, you, know, okay. you don't want it directly in the blood. You want to go to the lymphatic system. That's the best way. You know, um, just to give you a little story about Cambo. Um, there was a page named Campu, and this is the, how Cambo came into existence. And a page is is Portuguese for medicine man or shaman, and his tribe got deathly sick to the point of extinction, and this mm. is thousands of years ago. And so, at the time, only the medicine men of the tribe worked with ayahuasca. And so ayahuasca, if you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a journeying medicine. It's a, it's, I can read it as DMT. So it allows you to open up your pineal gland and kind of your soul to leave your body and do your thing. Like whatever you, whatever you believe, you have an ability to do that. And so, um, anyways. I want to I've heard, I've heard, I have, in fact, it's interesting because I have, I was just talking to somebody in my office the other day and this guy is totally straight as far as he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he's never smoked marijuana before. I mean, he's, he's as straight as they come, but he's done ayahuasca eight times. And yeah. he says, he says it was like 10 years of therapy in eight hours, you know, exactly. and, and just in, incredible. Um, you know, he, he was talking to, he had a moment where he was talking to his, um, to what he called his inner child, right? And he's having this conversation. And he's, he's, he's a bit of a, he's a little feminine, right? His ways are a little bit feminine, but he was abused by his father when he was a kid. And is, and he's, and is asking his inner child, like, why, why am I this way? Why am I that? And his inner child literally said, F you. Like in, in, as, as he said, you know, he said, I created you, you know, I created you because, because you are the perfect mask for what happened to you as a child. Right. Mm -hmm. And and he's realizing that his persona was created by his inner child or his subconscious or whatever. And it gave like it was incredible. But anyway, I mean, that's a whole other thing. Ayahuasca is a completely different thing. And we are not talking about that. We're on Campbell. Let's stay on Campbell. Sorry. Well, we can always talk about that. We'll do that next time. Cool. <laughs> um, it's one of my greatest teachers for the past 10 years has been the medicine of ayahuasca. And uh, so we can always go into that conversation. OK. Um, it's allowed it's allowed this long haired guy to show up today. Nice. And so and, and do what I do, which is beautiful. Anyways, um so in ayahuasca you can connect to that God frequency or God intelligence, whatever mm -hmm. that is for you, whatever your belief system is. Um, it doesn't matter what you believe in, it's gonna show you that understanding. Um, so the medicine man, Kampu, did this journey and he asked the the great spirit, God, source of creation, whatever it is, how do I save my tribe? And the medicine walked him out in the rainforest, took him to this green monkey tree frog, showed him how to excrete this creature off the back of the frog without harming it, and they gave him a vision of how to put it in the body of his tribe members. So he did that. He ended up saving the entire tribe. And so he said when he took his last breath as a human, his spirit went to the frog. That's why medicine is called Cambo, because his name was Kampu. Mm. And so what's most amazing about that legend is that there are many tribes that carry the same legend who've never spoken um, about Cambo. So whether it's in the ether or the woo-woo, whatever reference you want to give it, um, there's an intelligence with this medicine. And, you know, Campbell's been around for thousands of years. And I believe the consciousness of this medicine want to come out and impact humanity on a larger scale. So it's beginning to come, even though it's new or you're new to, to, to our side of the world or to, to our circles, it's been around for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And it's not out because some man or woman brought it out of the jungles because the medicine wanted to come out. Right. And these medicines don't come out unless they want to. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And you've and you, you what you had told me is that that pharmac uh, science has tried to to departiculate it and take those peptides, recombine that, make an actual medicine out of it, you know, Western medicine out of it, mm -hmm. and they can't. There's some 
breath of life, some universal intelligence in there that's binding this whole thing, that you, the, the sum of the parts do not equal or, or they're not greater than the whole, that's for sure. Right, exactly. They've been able to synthesize each peptide and had incredible effects with what those peptides do and, and begin to discover, like I mentioned, everything from, from overcoming AIDS to, to, to cancer and candida and all these things. But when they've tried to recreate Cambo and combine all those peptides together, they synthesized, nothing happens. And so it's really, really powerful. And, and um, so we really have much respect and honor um, for the Cambo medicine mm -hmm. and, and all that it is, you know. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of like the ocean. It's pretty intense. You have to honor it, right? Uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so Wolf basically prepares your, your body. You, you, you have some incense and I, he burned um, five, five spots on me. And, um, and you can go on from there, what, what, you, what you do at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah, just for you, the listeners or the watchers that are there, tuning into this, you know, I'm not, I'm not, not branding you. I'm not steering you. I'm just taking this incense stick and I'm just flicking your skin. Um, the medicine wants to go in the phatic system. Um, we're not trying to cause blood or anything else. We're just getting the first layer of skin off like a sunburn. And so the medicine is very sinewy, um, very like rubber cement. And so the, the little burn on your body is like the size of a, of a, of a, of a marker BB. dot or a pin right. dot mm -hmm. uh, or BB. And then we take the medicine from before I put the medicine on, after you get the, they get what they call the gates. Um, you get 15 minutes, drink a liter and a half of water. So the water is a travel point for the toxins. So you want all that water, a liter and a half sitting in your stomach. Right. Um, and I had, water... we had fasted for, I fasted for about 18 hours, but you recommend at least 12 beforehand, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can drink water, like herbal tea or water up to two or three hours before the, before the ceremony or session. Um, mm -hmm. But for food, for at least 12 hours. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so then we, 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 you know, for your first time, we put one point of medicine on, just to see how your body responds to it. And, you know, the medicine, like it looks like a rubber BB, a little, little lentil sitting on your skin. And the first five or 10 minutes, it's gonna be the hot phase. The peptide in the, in the medicine pumps up your blood pressure to pull the medicine really quickly. So you're gonna get really hot, get really red, get really warm. Um, the, to me, these are thumbs up. These are the medicines in and we're good to go. Right. And I'm gonna come to you, put the rest of the medicine on. So you got five points. I put one on, then I come to you about five minutes later and put the other four on, and you're fully in the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I I look over at the gal who had done it before, and I mean her face looks quite inflamed. You know, her lips look like they were just in injected with collagen, and her brows are a little bit big, and you know she's just and my buddy's legs are you know his legs are kind of turning colors. I mean, it's you, you. Things are happening. It is very clear. Um, it is. It, it wallops you a little bit. Mm -hmm. In a very short time, um, but nothing you can't handle. No, you know, it's no. it's it's. Uh, you might feel your heart rate come up, and then that heat phase is going to go away after about five or ten minutes, and that second phase kicks in, and it's going to feel like somebody's pouring like honey or maple syrup on top of your head and start coming down. That's when the, the might start cleansing the cells, and that's the I don't feel good phase. Mm -hmm. that's the feeling like you have the flu on the couch. So if you think about having the flu on the couch for the day, can it condense that entire feeling into one 15 minute moment? That's the combo experience and um, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to keep it a secret, but you know, you definitely, there's a point where you're going, I don't know if I want to do this again. Right. There's that, that there's this super intense moment. What helped me a lot is my watch. I mean, it was just, mm -hmm. It was very much, I, it was my friend, you know, because I knew 40 minutes, I can do just about anything for 40 minutes. It isn't harming me. You know, it's like getting in a, you know, jumping in a cold water or something like that with the snow out. You can go a minute, no problem. It's intense, but you know, it's not hurting you. You know, it's helping you kind of thing. And so, um, so yeah, you just have to remind yourself, this is all good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what's, what's, what's beautiful in, is that that moment of like, I'm never doing this again, or why am I doing this? Or take the medicine off. Um, it's beautiful because it's it's a reminder of that the neuro neurological peptides are, are working, mm -hmm. and they're they so when that moment comes up, that moment only lasts about thirty seconds or a minute, and then it goes away. But it's a beautiful confirmation. It's having a reaction to it. The confirmation is the fact that your whole nervous system is being restructured in that mm -hmm. moment, mm -hmm. and so it, it caused a little bit of that. It caused a little bit of like, I'm not doing this again. And, um, I've had I've had people tell me in the middle they're not going to do it again, 
they walked out of ceremony after we were done, like after we completed the treatment, after mm-hmm. like we closed, and said, I'm not going to come back. And I said, okay. And they texted me literally 24 hours later. And they're like, when can I come back? <laughs> and so, yeah. So I've never had, I've served probably over a thousand ceremonies. I've never had one person ever regret doing this work. I've had some who thought it was really challenging in the middle of it, mm-hmm. but not one regret it. Camel right. either helps you a little bit or helps you a lot. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. it. So then you do purge. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a purge of medicine, you know. So um, you're going to go, once, that, once that, that I don't feel good phase kicks, you know, goes through that for about 10, 15 minutes. And the first phase kicks in. Third phase is a peptide begins to pump your gastric acids. And all of a sudden you feel your stomach start to pump, your organs start to pump. Um, as I mentioned, the, the medicine is completely beautifully designed by how these peptides complete one purpose, activate the next. Mm-hmm. And so then all of a sudden, after your cells are cleansed, that stomach starts to pump. You're going to grab your bucket. You're going to open your mouth. That water is going to shoot out. Right. Um, it's not a purge like alcohol or food poisoning or, or nothing like that. This is just more like your stomach's pumping and the water comes out. And but the body hold on one second because a lot of people are going to be like, this is just, I'm out, right? So let's, <laughs> let's, give them a, let's give them a breadcrumb or something, right? Because, I mean, we want to know a little bit because let's, let's tell people what, the benefits are before we go deep into the the purgative experience um sure. you know I, we've had a lot of people uh, wolf's had a lot of people with autoimmunes with um lyme disease with chronic diseases chronic stomach issues um in the in the in the rainforest they use it for uh, fertility the men use it before the hunting for virility they're using it for uh to increase Overcome- Attract. Overcome malaria. Mm-hmm. Overcome malaria. Interesting. Venomous snake bites, increased fertility, sexual attraction. Um, uh, they can also use it for child, preg- child pregnancies, women do, to release it. Mm. Um, so it's a whole different. They use it for both sides of that to help increase fertility as well as to if there's any kind of troubles. They use mm. it both both sides. Um, what do you think? Okay, probably what, 60, 70% of the people that come to you have some type of condition. They're not just like me where they're like, well, I, I mean, we all have something, but where they're just like, oh, let's do this for fun. It's most people have something going on, right? Correct. And what did what would you right. say the common denominator is? Like it's, or it's everything. Yeah, I, I mean, let me give you some testimonies. And so one testimony I give you is my, is my partner. Um, she never had a regular period her entire life. And after working with Cambo, her period began to be on point every 30 days. Mm. That's, her, that's her hormonal balance, you know. Um, Another, another one is that we have a friend who had PCOS and she was working with Campbell for another reason, but she went back to get her just a checkup from OB, GYN, and, and she said, your ovaries are completely different. What are you doing? And she said, I've been doing Cambo. Her doctor said, I'll keep it up. Wow. Um, uh, we've seen people with Lyme's release it in two ceremonies. We've seen people with Lyme's release it in five ceremonies mm. where they tested negative for it after that. We've seen mm. people release STDs in five to seven ceremonies like herpes, mm. um, test negative for herpes. Uh, so, so yeah, see incredible things, you know, um, you know, I don't want to make any claims on the call, but I'm just going to tell you what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Um, we work with people with stage four cancer. We work with people with dementia. Uh, we work with, with Lyme's, um, this medicine is incredible for autoimmune, um, especially if you don't know what it is. Um, Mm -hmm. we work with Hashimoto's. Um, so it's really beautiful and it is a treatment based medicine. You know, it is a treatment. You don't have to do 30 treatments, but there is something between probably three and 10 of you want to do it as close as you can if you're really trying to go after something mm-hmm. and one thing that one thing that we do in the organization is we combine the modality of acupuncture with it um so not too much using using needles we use the medicine as a needle on different marine channels chakra system along the spine erect ecology of the ears and we can begin to target anything in the body libido mm-hmm. hormones jaws joints organs and really begin to tailor the treatments based on what we want to go after in the system um, so that's how we've seen these incredible advancements with these different medical ailments. Mm. And just know that Campbell is not looking for the C word or it's not looking for limes. It's looking for anything in balance. And mm. Campbell has the ability to read your system energetically, mentally, emotionally, or physically and figure out what the imbalance is. And then it goes after that. Mm. It's not just all biological. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, so that's, that's the, the kind of benefits. And, and if you work with Campbell today, it's going to be different than tomorrow. And it meets you where you are in this moment. And mm-hmm. if you did it back to back like you did, it's going to be different every time because mm-hmm. it meets you exactly where you are. 
Yeah, you mentioned PCOS, and you've told me that women seem to be the best responders, you know, as far as just they, they, they get incredible results. I wish, I mean, I we ended up having to in vitro, et cetera, to get my twins. But, um, you know, my wife had PCOS, and, uh, yeah, that would be that would be wonderful. I mean, it, there's so much. I mean, the, the fertility business here in Silicon Valley, at least, is just going crazy. I mean, there's right. so many women, and even in... Um, like at Google, they're they're paying for women to be able to freeze their eggs because they want them to keep working. You know, so okay, have have children later. Well, if, well, there's more complications, there's more difficulty. Um, so something like this would be wonderful. So, thank you. Now getting back to the purgative. So I'm sitting there like, whoa! I feel it's not like a, a night of tequila, but it's 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 a little along those lines. I mean, you start feeling like something needs to come out of you, right? And it's just, it's just wanting. It's just, and I, and we all have, you know, these beautiful Mexican blankets and, and Wolf has this incredible presentation and he's got, you know, bird wings and he's waving sage in our faces and it's, 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 you know, beautiful music and we're all getting through it together. Uh, and we all have the blankets and the buckets and, um, I can tell the buckets have been used before. He brought them from Oregon uh, and, uh, you know, everything just perfect presentation and, and, and wonderful <laughs> nurturing moment here. Um, but I'm vomiting, right? A lot. And the color is this turquoise color. I mean, it, I've never seen like anything like that come out of my body before. Um, it could have been oxidized metals. I have it, I have no idea. I would have loved to have tested it. But um, but yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was intense. It was coming out. He's encouraging me, drink more water. Um, and you, you're just kind of, you know, if you if you want to get up and go to the bathroom, there there might be a moment where you're just crawling, but I wasn't. And and Wolf would, you know, just help me go over there, come back. And um, you know, purging, it could be purging uh, through the bowels, could be purging, urinating, sweating, vomiting. Uh, your body is clearly getting toxins out of it. It's just uh, out, Satan, out. You know, it's just it's just getting it out. And um, and so, <clears throat> and then there was a moment where I looked at you. You were saying, okay, how are we doing? And I'm like, there's more that needs to come out, but it's just not coming out. And so you introduced something else to me to get that out. And I'm, I'm having a intense experience but i know there's more and um hoppe yeah <laughs> okay yeah hoppe so <laughs> <laughs> so hoppe the base of hoppe is mapacho which is jungle tobacco and it's it's the tobacco is taken um not tobacco like we're talking about in our society you know more like cigarettes or, or chewing tobacco this is organic tobacco and it's mixed with Amazonian herbs, and it's then cooked into ash, remixed to give me tobacco and herbs. And so just to give you a little background, with, with in the Native traditions, in the North American Native traditions, they do what they call a meepi ceremony in the morning. And that's where they smoke the tobacco. And their understanding around it is the fact that you, you know, spirit lives in smoke, is their belief system. And so they put their prayers into tobacco, and they breathe in those, those blessings of those prayers. Mm. And they do it. So they clear themselves. So the day before they got chased by a bear, didn't catch their food, got in a quarrel with the tribe, with their wife, argument, whatever happens, they're not bringing that energy into the new day. Mm -hmm. And they, they'll sit in a circle in a teepee and the women be on one side, men on the other, and they do this beautiful, beautiful ceremony. And so in South America, they don't really have, um, you know, it's a lot harder to get flames in the rainforest than in North America. So. They take this medicine very similar to, to that is tobacco and, and said it's in powder form. So they take it and they administer it through up the nose. And so they take this thing called a tepe and one person blows it into your nostrils. And it's a really beautiful, beautiful medicine. It decalcifies the pineal gland, opens up part of your brain you haven't accessed before, dumps in your injector back of holding isn't yours, opens your heart. It's a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful medicine outside of Cambo. Inside of Cambo, it's just coming in to support Cambo. And so they do administer some circles, some some traditions serve hape in ayahuasca ceremonies. Um, some serve it by itself. Uh, but usually when you receive hape in a ceremony, that's going to support the main medicine. And it's just coming in to get the block out. 
And so what's going to happen is that medicine is going to come in. It's going to shift you. And we use it because sometimes we're, we're, there's something that's so deep we're looking to move out, whether it be consciousness or trapped emotions or belief systems or toxins in the physical body. Sometimes you've been holding on to that for a very long time. And the hape helps unwind you to let that go, like unwinding a rag, you know, to take tension off of what you're holding. Mm. And the hape helps that come out. And it is, a, it is a challenging experience. You don't have to receive hape. We only use it in those, those moments of, of, of the block. And if we're, if we're at the very end of the ceremony and you've, we've drank in all your water, we've done everything we do to get everything out, and it's still sitting there, then we use the hape for it to come out. You don't have to receive hape. But right. some people you know, do. Like You'll probably never have to receive it again. Oh, because you, 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 that, that, that depth of that contraction and holding on to whatever it was has come out. It's gone. So I, I was, so I'm going through it and I, I look over at Wolf and I said, there's more. And he said, we could do some hoppe. And, and, uh, I said, okay, so what do you, what do you think? Right. Should I do this? And, uh, he says, yeah, 50%, you know, maybe, maybe not. He was really into just like, Come on, Adam. You know what is your body telling you right now? You tell me. It was he wanted to honor my innate experience, right? He wasn't he wasn't dominating. He wasn't doing like a patriarchal medicine experience. He was opening it up to me and allowing my body to really give the yes or the no. So I I did it, and and he came over and just and blew a, a lot one in, one blow in each nostril. And, uh, you know, initially it was like hot and I, you know, sore, just, you know, branding the inside of my nostrils. And then my head just turns into this giant hot coal, um, which was, was, which was quite intense. Um, but then within a minute, it just, boom, everything came and more of this wonderful turquoise color was, uh, was being ejected from my body. And, uh, and it was quite relieving and I was quite relieved and exhausted and had a had had a quite thorough very robust experience and um and everybody else had i think mine the first day was the most the most intense and um i came out of everybody's you know in in the kitchen eating and i'm i'm just okay i'm holding on right now this is whoa you know and um and i went i went to bed and he said, you can eat up until 11 o'clock at night. And somehow my body just woke up at 1055. And so I went in the kitchen. I'm like, okay, I'm going to eat some food. I got a little, you know, food. And he had placed some tea and some beautiful food out. And so I ate some of that and so that I could be ready for the next day. And um, again, there was a part of me that went, okay, should we really do this? And, and what was interesting is, you know, you want, everybody wants to know, okay, how did you feel? What was this like? What was the benefit for Adam here, you know? And you told me that the hunters do it before hunting. And I, mm -hmm. I, and I just felt, and I know this is very subjective, but I, I felt this kind of like my limbs were elongated, you know, like mm -hmm. I was able to grasp the substrate below and grab the tree and, you know, blow dart the animal or whatever. I felt a little more masculine, maybe, um, mm -hmm. innate, nature, jungly, it, which was interesting. It was interesting. And I and you can't put a finger on that. You can't say, okay, I had a pimple and the pimple left. You know, my arm was broken and it, and it mended. Um, but that's that's what I felt the first day. And um, and it was interesting. So then we, we go on and we do it the, the, the next day. And it's interesting. We have we have these, you know, a buddy of mine was on three cups of coffee. You know, we started, started a little text stream. And he's, he's just from that day on, boom, no coffee, which is incredible. Um, I think what I got out of it, which was kind of interesting, is this whole, um, the strength factor. Um, I, my body feels stronger. Um, I feel like a, that whole masculine energy a little bit more. And then, um, and I don't know, this is kind of weird, but the, 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 the sexual energy um, has been phenomenal. Um, and... You know, I'm just going, really? Is this really happening? I mean, we've been yeah. married for this many years. You know, I mean, and anyway, <laughs> don't want to go too deep into it. But that has been interesting. And this is like nobody baited me on this. I didn't know that. You never told me anything like that. And but but it was just consistently happening. And I went, what's different in my life? And I go, oh, my gosh, it was since the Cambo. 
this is this is where this is what's happening to me, you know. So um, I didn't have any you know autoimmune disorder or something like that. I was trying to work through, um, and yeah, it's been very very good. I had um, you know I think I've paired some things. I did a recent seven day fast, which was incredible, and I think this some of the strength I got from the cambo helped me get through that seven day fast. You know where I was just doing about 40 calories a day of bone broth and, you know, just some electrolytes and that's it for seven days. And, um, I think that it, it prepared me for that experience too. Uh, yeah. but what's been amazing is, you know, we had, I'm the youngest of seven kids. My mom had me when she was quite old and my mom has a little dementia. So, you know, Wolf and I we're we're just like, Hey, let's do this, right? Let's do this on this 91 year old, you know? And we're like, okay. And uh, she's way coherent enough to have a conversation and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's she knows what she's getting into. She just may not me remember it the next day. Um, and so instead of throwing all the medicine all at once, like you did on me, uh, you did a little different process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's called a layered treatment. Um, <clears throat> and so what we do is those are people with either working with extreme medical ailments who are really, really weak or more the, the elderly demographic, you know, who might not be able to take that, that medicine on at once. Um, so we just do is we put one point of medicine on, she drinks some water, puts another point on, drinks some water, and we put a point every five or 10 minutes until she's at a point where, where she's good, you know, until when she purges or, or when anyone purges and then we stop. And so it's, it's a way to, to trickle the medicine in and compare it to having it one big, you know, come in um, into the system. And so it, and you can kind of watch them where they are and, and see how it affects them. And um, so it's really beautiful. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's great. So she, you know, it's tougher to do, would be tougher to drink a liter and a half of water. So right. she had the, she had the water, then you put one point on, then she just maybe like a cup, I think it was a cup of water. We cup or half a cup of water. Yeah. Yeah. And she has low blood pressure. I was a little concerned about that, but we, Wolf didn't seem to be concerned about it. And um, uh, she's not on any medication. She's well, thyroid medication. That's it. She's been on it since she was a young kid. And, um, and then she, which is fascinating. <laughs> I just realized this. We just had her thyroid checked. And yeah. uh, she's on the same amount of thyroid now. And her thyroid is, it's over now. I just got the text yeah. a couple of days ago from my naturopath. He's like, look, your mom's thyroid is too high. And it hadn't been at all. Yeah. So interesting. Anyway, so yeah. so she gets it and then she has another water and we ended up putting three points on. She gets and she's like, oh, I got out of the back bathroom and she ends up purging. And um, she comes out of it. She goes in her room and she comes out of it just vibrant, which is incredible. And um she had been dealing a little bit with energy and, um, you know, I'd want to exercise with her and the energy wasn't that great and exercise and, and she came out of it more vibrant, more alive. Mm -hmm. And I said, mom, you want to do that again? She goes, oh yeah, definitely. I'm ready. And, uh, which is incredible because, uh, it's a quite, it's a little bit of an intense experience. And so, um, I think I'm ready. I mean, she's ready. Let's do it again. Let's go for it, uh, <laughs> for her. Um, I think the memory um, for, a, for a little while, I mean, I came home that night. The girls come home, my, my twin daughters come home and they're taking ballet and my mom used to be a professional dancer. And so she, you'd always ask her like, oh, what's position one? Or you don't always you ask her, what's position two? She couldn't tell you. They come home and she's literally doing a ballet class with them at 91 years old going through yeah. position one, position two, position three, position four, position five. And, and there, and she usually has, you know, she doesn't have a, she has a good relationship with, but, but not an amazing relationship because, you know, just the age difference, etc. She was connecting with them. They're following her. They're looking at her, tracking her every move, etc. which was different. And, yeah. um, and so I found that her vibrance has stayed up the memory's pulled back a bit, but her she's she's strong and she's vibrant, and um, we're gonna need to do it again for sure. She yeah. had a she had a, just a, a couple days ago, which is kind of crazy. She had a uh, we were in the mountains, 
and it, the girls are running, my five-year-old twins, and she starts to run, and um, she's booking, and all of a sudden, the slope of the hill starts to go downhill, and she went too fast, and she <laughs> fell, and she broke her proximal humerus. So, yeah, so she's on some Vicodin, and you can't cast that one, so she's got to heal, and, you know, it's it's a bummer, but I know we're going to get through it, and... Um, and I'm already like you read online and these people are like, oh, I stayed in bed for two weeks. I'm already getting her up and walking around the block a little bit, etc. cetera. Um, and what better yeah. to do than a Cambo experience to come through it and just flush all of it out and yeah. hit the reset button. So probably in eight <laughs> weeks we're, we're in again. Um, so, so anyway, so that was her experience. And the next day with me, which was fascinating is, the vomit the, was completely different. It was a different color. This time it was like a golden color. Um, mm. And you're saying you see, sometimes you see chunks come out, you see different things come out of people. Yeah, I, I've seen seven different colors, seven different buckets. I mean, I've seen the, the rainbow and uh, it's really beautiful in, in that context. You know, the guy is not to do any kind of purge readings as far as what that what that means. You know, I always ask people, like, what does that mean to you? Uh, but what I would, and here comes a little bit of the woo-woo side, but here what I do notice is that people have an intention, and that intention is sitting on maybe those chakras. It seems to be, there seems to be some kind of, you know, eight, nine times out of ten, the color has to do with an area of their being they worked on. So whether it be, you know, the red or the root chakra or the... You know, but they might not have been in tune with that, but like that's the area that they really felt it, you know, or the throat chakra, you know, is blue or, or the heart is a green, you know, and so it just seems to, that's the only similarities I could call. It's not always that. I'm just saying that's probably the most um, coincidental one I can see is where like usually they're, what they're worked on for their, in that area of their being had to do with the, the color that came out in line with the chakra. Fascinating. Yeah. So... <clears throat> So this is exciting for you. You're doing a lot of these. How many how many of these do you do a week? Oh well, well we serve two different ceremonies here in our hometown of Ashland, Oregon, um, mm -hmm. every Wednesday and Saturday, um, small groups, and then we travel. I'm traveling tomorrow um, to Petaluma, um, down by you, I think, mm -hmm. um, to to see a group. And and so we we travel, and then I'm usually traveling one week a month um, to do this work. I love it. We love it. And so we usually go travel down to Southern California. Our partners from and uh, being from LA, I have a pretty big network down there. So we have mm -hmm. some large ceremonies down there. Not large as in people, but a lot of ceremonies within a week time period. Um, and travel, and I also hold hold trainings, you know, through Combo International. Um, and train people how to serve the medicine as well. Mm. So it's a lot of things going on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what a wonderful life. Have you gone? Yeah. What's the furthest you've done a Cambo ceremony? Where have you gone? Oh. Um, you mostly stick Puerto on the Rico, West Coast. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Yeah. 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 Um, it's really beautiful down there. I mean, it, it's, you know, this, everyone's welcome to this medicine. So we don't, we have a philosophy. We don't believe anybody should be limited to this work based on our resource or finances. And so as long as that universal law of reciprocity of giving and receiving is honored. Um, so just know, if, you know, no one's limited. Everyone can come, just offer something. It's really important. We have, we have a suggestion that we ask for, but the fact is, you know, in, in Puerto Rico, people offered me lunch. They made me lunch or brought me a basket of food. And I traveled around for seven days in Puerto Rico, just meeting incredible people um, in the cities and in the jungle and, and through this medicine. It was really, really beautiful that way and just being of service. And so um, we love this work. You know, my partner assists, assists me sometimes. She didn't come with me down with you, but, um, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, mm. But yeah. And so just, and just follow up with people out there on the call too. let them know is that so after at 40 minutes, we wipe the medicine off and mm -hmm. you're going to lay down. And so when you lay down, the resting period is really important. It's a time for recalibration of the system. You might lay down for 10 minutes and be like, and wake up and be like, I feel amazing. You lay down for an hour and a half and be, and be out of it, snoring away. That's beautiful too. But we let the body recalibrate. And, you know, whenever you feel called to get up, get up. You know, you probably rest for up to an hour. And in that time of resting period, combo loves food. And so you're going to be hungry right after or later on in the day. And so we serve some, some specific certain teas like licorice and then ginger and, and turmeric to help calm the system. Um, we also serve some different fruits and soups and things like that to, to nourish yourself. Um, as a practitioner, it's important that I see you eat. That means that means the medicine's done. And um, so we offer some food. It turns into a social gathering, turn the music up, talk about our experience, have some laughs. Um, 
so it's a full ceremony you know it's a full ceremony and, and roughly about a about a four to five hour experience based on how many attendees are there mm -hmm. yeah and and i felt very taken care of and there there are also you were saying that there's there's people not like you there's people that just come in throw it on leave and i wouldn't recommend that i mean this is <laughs> not at all yeah, there's some who serve a very clinical level. Like they'll come in and talk with you, find out your intention, burn the gates, put the medicine on you, purge. And um, I had it that way the first couple of times of receiving it. And the, the woman was wonderful. But the thing is, when I woke up from my nap or my resting period, she was gone. And it just really felt incomplete. I had like a, a, a bowl of, of, of some dates and almonds in front of me and, and some tea, which is beautiful. But at the same time, um, I was by myself in the house. And I right. just didn't really know what to process, you know. And um so yeah, so I really like, I really feel the closure of that really is important, you know, and it's, it is a ceremony. When I say ceremony, there is a, in any of this kind of indigenous work or tribal work or, or ancient work, like there's a container that gets created, um, like a bubble of energy that, that that work is done into. And so you open that container up as a facilitator and then you close it. Um, and yeah, so it's very much, in, you know, for, so I'm sure like when you have a patient, like there's an energy that comes in the room when they come in and there you kind of feel that moment with them for however long you're with them. And then when they close their, when they're gone, there's a different aura or there's a different, you know, feeling in the room. Mm -hmm. And so you, know, you, you do the exact same thing. It just, you right. Know, right. I'm often, I'm a hugger. I'm often like, okay, we're closing the ceremony with a hug, you know, and, right. in my office. Exactly. Right. Whereas, you know, it's not just like, okay, bye. <laughs> that kind of yeah. Thing. You know, gee, thanks. Um, right. And, and, and I felt that enveloping and that, that wonderfulness. And, um, so how can people get a hold of you? Great question. I really enjoy connecting with each person. Like as we did, um, uh, before people come to sit ceremony, even if people are just on the fence or, um, just want some more information. I have some, some non-biased information. If you look up Cambo online, you're going to find some extremes on both sides of the, of the, of the coin. And so I have some, some pretty neutral stuff to send out. People can just read it. Um, I have some information that answers a lot of questions and then I just have, have been having a, a connect call. And so the website that, that I run through, which is mine is cambo is dot life. And so K M B O I S dot life. L I F is in Frank E not lie, but life. Um, there's no dot com, but dot life is a dot com. Mm -hmm. And, um, all the information is on there. My, my email is wolf at combo is dot life. And so I just really enjoy connecting. So anybody just wants to have any questions, I'm not trying to try to sell them on it. Just the fact that I want to get, make sure they make, can make an educated decision for themselves and they can feel into it. Mm -hmm. And many people feel into it and go, this, this resonates with me. Some people say, oh, it doesn't, not yet, right, not right now. Great. Right. Uh, it's just for whoever, what it calls to you. you know? And you do travel. You do travel. Like if somebody's on the East Coast or whatnot and they have a group of for sure. people and you, you're happy to come to them. For sure. Okay. Yeah, we're organizing a ceremony right now in Washington, D.C., with some, with some people we work with that go out to LA to work with us and they didn't realize that I'd actually come to them. So instead of flying to LA, they'd rather have me fly out to Washington, DC. I think it'd be great in the Senate. Just, you know, just open ceremony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody have your buckets. Sure. <laughs> Let's change this country. <laughs> For sure. great. Uh, well, thank you so much. Again, it's such an honor, you know, to be with you and, uh, and to know you and to hopefully refer people to you. It's just, a, um, a joy to have the experience again I, it's even being in your presence it's kind of like i i feel that 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 energy of that cambo even even coming on even more you know it's just <laughs> i think i'm a placebo reactor but you know yeah I, I, actually I, I i have the experience and then you know just the, we just had that realization of my mom's thyroid it's it's amazing so yeah mm -hmm. i mean things yeah. things change we're seeing things happen um yeah well thank you so much for being with us on health and care Please like, subscribe, share with others. I'll put uh, Wolf's information in the description below. Thank you so much for being with us. Keep taking care of yourself. Bye-bye.